Welcome everyone to Toys One on One. Uh, this is the first uh, part series uh, of Batman vs Superman: Dawn of Justice. Uh, I've put out the action figures of the uh, actual movie. Uh, we're gonna go through them one by one. Um, I'll show you this first one here, beginning with Wonder Woman. Next, we've got Superman. Third is the armored Batman. And fourth is going to be unarmored Batman. All from the Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice series uh, movie. And this is the a book that I purchased, uh, Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice, The Art of Film. A pretty cool book with a very uh, cool quote on the back from the movie it says that's how it starts the fever the rage the feeling of powerlessness that turns good men cruel that's a direct quote from the movie and we'll examine that at the very end so this is going to be a five video series uh, examining each of the things here and right now we're going to start with Superman let's get started but first, a brief history on Superman. Superman was born Kal-El on the planet Krypton. He was sent to Earth by his birth parents in an effort to save his life from planetary destruction. He was found and raised in Smallville, Kansas. As Superman grew into his role as a superhero, he learned to fight both bad guys as well as good guys. The Man of Steel's known weakness is vulnerability to kryptonite. So this is the Superman action figure. Uh, as you can see, it is from the movie uh, Batman vs Superman from the world of the DC Comics Multiverse. This is a Superman action figure with a picture of uh, Superman on the cover. And it's a collect and connect uh, grapple blaster replica. On the side of the package, we see Superman. And there's a brief description about him on the side. And then on the back, this is the collect and connect all eight figures to build Batman's grapple, uh, grapple blaster. So there's eight different action figures that you can uh, purchase. And when you finish purchasing all of them, you get to build the full grapple uh, blaster. Now it does show the four different action figures that it originally came out with Superman, um, Batman, Wonder Woman, and Armored Batman. It says figures 5 through 8 will be coming soon. So we'll be on the lookout for that. Alright, now let's open the package. open and now you have Superman very cool action figure uh, just by the way it looks and feels I can see it's very durable uh, the cape is not a fluid flowing cape like the uh, DC, total DC Heroes uh, action figure, but it is still a very cool cape because it does have some maneuverability. Um, and we can start at the top. His head uh, does, does rotate. You could probably go full 360 if you wanted to. Too. His arms, they extend out, they come in, they f extend, and they flex. Abduct, adduct, flexion, and extension, very cool. His wrists do twist around as well, and his arm rotates as well, so that's pretty cool. Um, 
his torso rotates, his legs, they do a full split, which you could get very creative with something like that. His knee flexes and extends, flexes and extends, and you get some flexion and extension at the ankle joint as well, so that's pretty cool. Uh, one of my favorite things to do is to see if action figures can stand on their own. Now his cape may be in the way of that, but let's find out because his cape is a little heavy so you might have to kind of toggle with it a little bit until you get it to stand. His cape kind of drags him back or makes him fall back a little bit. There we go. So he does stand on his own so that's pretty cool. So that's Superman. Now this looks like the piece to the uh, grapple, grapple one uh, that we saw in the back of the package, remember? The back of the package here. So in the Superman box you get this part of Batman's uh, grapple blaster, which is that right there. And that's what this looks like over here. So part one of the Grapnel bla uh, Blaster has been established. <laughs> and that is Superman. The next action figure I'm going to look at is uh, the Armored Batman. Keep in mind that I do test all these action figures for strength, durability, etc. when I put them inside a ring. So be on the lookout for that as well. Alright, I'll see you in the next video.